Dear viewers, greetings. In this video, we are going to see about X-ray spectroscopy. This video contains the following topics. First, an introduction about X-ray spectroscopy, followed by history of X-ray spectroscopy, principle of X-ray spectroscopy, instrumentation of X-ray spectroscopy, steps in X-ray spectroscopy, applications of X-ray spectroscopy, advantages of X-ray spectroscopy, and finally, limitations of X-ray spectroscopy. X-ray spectroscopy. X-ray spectroscopy is a technique used to determine the elemental composition, chemical state, and electronic structure of materials by measuring the interaction of X-ray with matter. When X-rays are absorbed or emitted by atoms, they cause electronic transitions in the atoms inertial, which can provide detailed information about the material. X-ray spectroscopy is a general term for several spectroscopic techniques for the characterization of materials by using X-ray excitation. History of X-ray spectroscopy In 1913, Henry Mosley developed X-ray spectroscopy to determine the atomic number of elements. Principle of X-ray spectroscopy The fundamental principle behind the X-ray spectroscopy is based on the interaction of X-rays with matter which can cause excitation or ionization of atoms. When atoms are irradiated with high energy X-rays, their inner shell electrons are ejected and leaving vacancies. Electrons from higher energy level drop down to fill these vacancies and releasing energy in the form of characteristic X-rays. These emitted X-rays are unique to each element, allowing for the identification and quantification of the elements in the sample. Instrumentation of X-ray spectroscopy The instrumentation of X-ray spectroscopy contains five major parts. They are X-ray source, monochromator, sample chamber, detector, and data processing system. The first part of the X-ray spectroscopy is X-ray source. The X-ray source generates X-rays either through an X-ray tube or synchrotron radiation. The second part is monochromator. The monochromator selects a specific wavelength of X-rays for analysis by filtering the beam. The third part is sample chamber. The sample chamber holds the specimen which is irradiated by X-rays the design of the chamber depends on the specific method. The fourth part of the X-ray spectroscopy is detector. The detector measures the intensity of X-rays typically using solid state detectors such as silicon drift detectors to record energy dispersive signals. The fifth and final part is data processing system. It is a software that interprets and analyzes that detected X-ray signals and generates elemental or chemical state maps. Steps in X-ray spectroscopy. There are five steps in X-ray spectroscopy. The first step is sample preparation. Clean and prepare the sample to ensure it is suitable for X-ray exposure. The second step is excitation. The sample is irradiated with high energy X-rays or electrons which eject inner shell electrons from atoms in the sample. The third step is X-ray emission. As higher level electrons drop to fill the vacancies, they emit X-rays that are characteristic of the elements present. The fourth step is detection. The emitted X-rays are detected and their energy or wavelength is measured. The fifth and final step is analysis. The resulting spectrum is analyzed to determine the elemental composition, chemical state, or structure of the material. Applications of X-ray spectroscopy In elemental analysis, X-ray spectroscopy is used to, to determine the elemental composition of materials, especially in metals, ceramics, and geological samples. In material sciences, it is used to, to study the structural properties defects and phases in various materials. In forensic science, the X-ray spectroscopy is used in forensic investigations to analyze 
paint chips, glass fragments and other evidences. In archaeology, the X-ray spectroscopy helps in studying the composition of ancient artifacts and artworks without causing any damages. In environmental science, the X-ray spectroscopy is used to, to analyze soil, water and air from contaminants like heavy metals. In semiconductor industry, X-ray spectroscopy analyzes the thin films and surfaces of semiconductors for quality control. In catalysis research, X-ray spectroscopy investigates the surface chemistry of catalyst during the reactions to optimize the performance. Advantages of X-ray spectroscopy Non-destructive analysis X-ray spectroscopy is non-destructive technique meaning it, it can analyze samples without causing damage. This is particularly useful in the fields like archaeology, art conservation and forensic science where preserving the sample is crucial. High sensitivity to elements. The X-ray spectroscopy can detect elements at very low concentration, making it a highly sensitive technique for trace element analysis. It can typically detect elements from parts per million to parts per billion levels wide elemental range. X-ray spectroscopy can analyze a broad range of elements from lower atomic number to higher atomic number. This makes it versatile for different types of materials. Quantitative and qualitative analysis. The X-ray spectroscopy technique provides both qualitative and quantitative data, making it useful for comprehensive material characterization. Minimal sample preparation. Unlike other techniques that may require extensive sample preparation, X-ray spectroscopy often requires minimal preparation. For example, solid, liquid or powdered sample can be analyzed directly in many cases. Rapid and automated analysis. X-ray spectroscopy can provide rapid result and is often automated, allowing for high throughput analysis in industries like metallurgy, semiconductors and pharmaceuticals. Surface and bulk analysis. Different types of X-ray spectroscopy allow flexibility in analyzing both surface chemistry and the bulk composition of materials. Elemental mapping. With techniques like energy dispersive X-ray spectroscopy or EDS, elemental mapping across the sample surface is possible. This can provide spatial distribution of elements crucial for studying inhomogeneous samples or materials with complex structures. Application across a wide range of fields. X-ray spectroscopy is widely used in numerous fields such as material science, chemistry, physics, geology, medicine, and environmental science due to its versatility in analyzing different types of samples. High resolution and accuracy. Techniques like wavelength dispersive X-ray spectroscopy offers high resolution, accuracy, and precision, especially for detecting and quantifying elements with closely spaced energy levels. Depth profiling. Some forms of X-ray spectroscopy, such as X-ray photoelectron spectroscopy, allow depth profiling, which means analyzing how the composition of material changes with depth below the surface. This is essential in fields like coating and thin films. Finally, capability to analyze complex materials. X-ray spectroscopy is capable of analyzing multi-element complex materials such as alloys, biological tissues, ceramics and composites without interference from matrix effects. Limitations of X-ray spectroscopy. Some of the limited limitations of X-ray spectroscopy includes poor sensitivity to light elements, surface sensitivity, vacuum requirements, isotope differentiation, radiation hazards, and high equipment cost and complexity in instrumentation. Dear viewers, that's all about an X-ray spectroscopy. Thank you for your support. Thank you.